Hello friends. In this lecture, I am going to discuss two numericals. Both will be on impulse generator. So let us start with the discussion. The numerical goes like this. An impulse generator has eight stages. So here the number of stages which are mentioned are eight. With each condenser rated for 0.16 microfarad. So therefore, the value of C1 is equal to as 8 are connected in the circuit. So 0.16 divided by 8, that comes out to be 0 0.02 microfarad. The value of capacitor C2, it is in picofarad. So it is 1000. Now I am just converting that picofarad in farads. So this is the value of C2. Then the time period which is given here, T1 is equal to 1.2 microsecond definitely will be converting it into seconds while solving the numerical and 50 microsecond again will be converting that quantity into seconds then here we have to find out the values of two resistance series and damping resistance damping means connected in parallel so r1 question mark r2 question mark and maximum output voltage. So I just represented as PO max question mark. The formula which we have is T1 is equal to 3 into R1 into C1 C2 upon C1 plus C2. As we have to find out the value of resistance R1. So R1 is equal to T1 into C1 plus C2. Now T1 is 1.2 microsecond. So I am just converting each of the quantity in the regular unit. So this is 0 0.02 into 10 to the power minus 6. Now even you can convert this quantity in microfarad. I am keeping this as it is. Divided by. 3 goes in denominator multiplied by C1, C2 also goes in denominator. So therefore, the value of resistance R1, which comes out to be 420 ohms. Feed this value in the calculator, you will get the answer to R1 is this one. Now, the formula for T2 is 0.7 R1 plus R2 into C1 plus C2. From this formula, I need the value of R2. So therefore, R2 is equal to. Now, if I just check this T2, which is on the left-hand side, I am writing on the right-hand side. This 0.7 into C1 plus C2 goes in the denominator. So what I do, I just adjust this values. So T2 is 50 microsecond. So I just write it as 50 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 0.7 multiplied by C1 plus C2. Now I have to subtract this R1 quantity as here it is in plus. So when that R1 goes on right hand side, it gets subtracted. The value of R1 is known this 420 ohms. So the value of R2 which we get is 2981 ohms. So these are the values of first two resistances, series resistance and damping resistance. Now the formula for output maximum voltage, it is V, V be the charging voltage divided by R1, C2, alpha minus beta, e to the power minus alpha t1 minus e to the power minus beta t1 where alpha is nearly equal to 1 upon r1 c2 so r1 is 420 c2 is 1000 picofarad this calculation gives me the value 
2380952. Same way, beta is nearly equal to 1 upon R2 into C1. Putting the values of R2, 2981 and C1. Gives me the value for beta, which is 16772.9. This V is the charting voltage for eight number of stages. So this is eight multiplied by 120 kilovolt. So it comes out to be 960 kilovolt. So therefore, output maximum voltage by putting all the quantities here. Keeping 916 kilo volts multiplied by e to the power minus alpha time period e to the power minus beta again time period and this value comes out to be 892 kilo volts so this is maximum output voltage which appears is as 892 kilo volts now as i said we'll be solving one more numerical on this the numerical goes like this a 12 stage impulse generator has 0.126 microfarad capacitors so again here let us check the solution the generator capacitance c1 for 12 number of stages is 0 0.126 upon 12. The value comes out to be 0 0.0105 microfarad. The value of C2, that is load condenser, which is given as 1000 picofarad. So C2 is same, which is same as like previous numerical. Then the values of resistance. Series resistance or wave front resistance 800 ohms and wave tail resistance that is 5000 ohms. That is shunt resistance or damping resistance. With this information, we have to find out the front and tail time. So we know the formula for doing the calculation. So T1 is equal to 3. R1, C1, C2 upon C1 plus C2. R1 is 800 ohms. C1 is 0 0.0105 microfarad. So conversion is 10 to for minus 6 farad. C2 is 1000 picofarad. So it is converted into farad as 10 to for minus 12. And the addition in denominator of both the capacitors. Addition of capacitors in the denominator. So this T1 comes out to be T1 comes out to be 2.19 microsecond. You have to use calculator for doing the calculation. The formula for T2, it is equal to 800 plus 5000 so i just directly write it down as 5800 multiplied by so by using calculator i get the value for t2 as 46.7 microsecond so that's all with this numericals on impulse generator hope you understood this concept will Meet again with the next numerical set in the next lecture. Thank you so much.